Hi there folks, Scott here and recently we heard that Sony for the first time in over 20 years have no plans to attend E3 in any way. That means no big presentation and no presence on the show floor. Now as most of you will know, E3 is one of the biggest events in the gaming industry. So we really do have to look at what this means for Sony. Now just to clarify, this isn't about whether Sony are doing right by you, the gamer. It's, it's not all about you. I mean, what does this mean for Sony as a company, as a business? So, first of all, let's look at the lack of a big presentation announcing lots of games. And you know what? Yeah, chuck it in the bin. Let's you and I take a second to be really honest with each other. The big publisher presentations are, at this point, an irrelevant, bloated blimp made of cringe. Lots of awkward, uncomfortable people who hate being on stage exchanging shite patter and playing carefully rehearsed bits of upcoming games. It's not actually that much fun to watch. Really, it's not. Be honest. In fact, smaller publishers like Devolver, for example, have actively taken to mocking the format. Meanwhile, things like Nintendo Direct have shown that companies can get their message out there without needing to have a big, long, expensive stage show. With trailers, gameplay footage, deals with Twitch streamers, there are options. Plus, if I can save a few hours of my weekend to watch endless Vine compilations like the piece of shit I am, all the better. Not having a presence on the E3 show floor though, that's different. What a presence on the floor of E3 does is gives gamers and the media alike a chance to take a look at upcoming games, give them a tryout, and report back on them. It gives a whole range of different perspectives than that of major publishers. So it strikes me as strange that essentially radio silence from Sony is being judged to be a better decision than demoing games at E3. Is giving people nothing new to talk about really a worse thing than giving them absolutely nothing to talk about? Then again, maybe Sony's decision tells us that big events like E3 aren't as relevant as they once were, especially in an age where publishers can market directly to their customers. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. Please leave yours in the comments below. As always, tell all your pals about this video. I'll see you next week.